the Liberty Foundation was uh, actually founded just to restore this aircraft and to get the Liberty Bell flying. This aircraft was actually a five-engine aircraft for testing purposes for the early turboprops. It was given to a museum in the 60s and uh, they actually took the airplane and was going to restore it, but a tornado de totally destroyed it. In 1990, a group of individuals purchased to have it restored, and uh, they started the 15, almost 15-year 15 process to get it back to flying status, and we purchased it in 2000, and at that time, we really put the majority of the money in to finish the restoration. Most people know of the B-17. It was the flying fortress uh, because of the way it was de designed with the armament around it, and uh, all of the early heavy uh, and daylight bombing was done in the in the B-17, so it's staggering to think of the numbers of aircraft that were lost in combat early in the war before they ended up with uh, the air superiority to get the aircraft and the fighters all the way to the target. So uh, there are very few airplanes that has done more for our freedoms than a B-17. Let's go fly. There's uh, no better way to learn about history and World War II history than actually come up and get on board a B-17 for a flight. So we have a special FAA exemption that allows us to take passengers for flights so people can come out. We take them flying for 25 to 30 minutes around the area and you get to go through each of the combat positions and uh, see the aircraft in flight. heavy on the controls, but uh, every pilot, uh, they'll tell you if they can get in the B-17 to fly it, uh, it would probably be on their top five list to go fly, so it's an honor to be a part of it. Our thrill is not so much for ourselves, but to see the veterans come out and uh, hear their stories, and they're still in great health to come out and they, uh, they spend their weekends with us, or their families come out and tell us what their fathers or grandfathers did, and that it makes it all worthwhile. to experience what it was like in World War II, I guess you can't get any closer than this. Without getting shot at, yeah, this is the best, uh, best way.